I've got my JavaScript file over here. I call it index2.html. Title, it just says George Bull. In the body area, it says script, source equals f02.js. That's where all my JavaScript code is. And I have nothing else in this index file. Let's take a look at f02.js. I have a variable called x, and I assign it a function that will accept that will have two parameters, y and z. Here's the open and close curlies where the function body is defined. And all it's going to do is return something. It's going to take whatever I, two things I pass it, y and a z, two numerics in this case, and it's going to add them up. And then it's going to send that to the, to the console. It's going to log that into the console, console.log. And... And so my function is defined here within the curlies, and uh, it has a semicolon ending here, but after the curlies I have a semicolon because this is a variable, and all this is getting assigned to this variable x, which is a statement, so you have to put a semicolon at the end of this. Now I'm going to call x. I'm going to assign it a value. Ooh, how do I do that? I <laughs> By passing it two values, 5 and 7. It's going to add those two up. It's going to give me a 12. And print that out, or log it, into the console area. Oh, where's that? Let's find out. Okay, so let me click on index.html, and did I save this? Yes, I did. Save this? Yes, I did. Okay, I'm in index.html. Let's run this. Run, launch in Firefox, and... Bada boom! There it is. 12. Right here. Wow. That's incredible. Look over here, it says F02JS line 4. Oh, what's that? Let's go to line 4 returns Y plus Z. 5 plus 7, that's my 12. Wow. That is just amazing. So it gave us our 12. There's our console. And I got logged in here. Logged right in here. That's amazing. Well, that's all I have to say for now. This is George Bull. Bye-bye now.